Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another task, a one of the quick fix series. Today is gonna be how to unlock a Samsung tablet. There is different methods. I tried with the Odin software, with custom binary files, but it didn't work for this tablet. But I'm gonna show you an easier way to do it. So stay tuned and I will show you how to unlock a Samsung device. Okay, so the, the person who had the tablet tried to do a factory reset and he came across to this saying that an unauthorized app has been made to reset the factory settings that's called FRP is the factory reset protection to avoid it. So I tried myself with uh, custom binary files with different software that I know I didn't manage, it was still uh, blocked. So uh, I was always asking for the previous Google account that was in this tablet until I came across of a software that's called the uh, FRP reset. I will leave the link on the description below so you can download it as well. And uh, you need to download also the Samsung USB drivers. Once you have everything, you just plug your tablet. It will be connected. You launch the program, the software. And then you press bypass FRP. OK. It's going to find the communication port. And then you will have a prompt on your tablet. You press view. And it's going to open the browser as we connected before to internet or to your Wi-Fi. You should have access to internet. So you go on this website, rumstage.com. And we will go to FRP Unlock so we can download the application that we need. So we're going to scroll down and look for the launcher 3.1 apk file so that's the application you download it and then once you have it downloaded you open it but then you need to tell your browser that is allowed to install it so you allow it on the settings and then you can install the application Once the application is installed, you just open it and it will come to this screen. From here, we're going to go to settings, we're going to look for security. And in here, we're going to go to other security settings. And we're going to look for pin windows, so make sure it's activated. And then you can enter it and you can put use screen lock protection. I will use a pattern and I will ask to require when the, co when the device power on. So I'll set up a pattern, it's going to ask you twice. And now we're going to restart the tablet. It's going to take a while and as soon as it restarts it's going to ask for the new credentials for the pattern that we just created. Now it restarted, we press start, we connect to the Wi-Fi again, next, we accept the terms and conditions like before, next. And this is where usually it was blocked, it was telling you to use the previous Google account. But because now we have the credentials to verify the identity with the pattern, we should be able to skip As you can see, you have the skip option there. You just skip to put a, a setup. 
to set up an account you already have. You just use a username for the new account. I would just use user. Then you can choose the options you want. It's like when you set up a new tablet, so you, you decide what you prefer. Then you also have the Samsung account. I don't need it, so I will skip. If you have one, you can just log in. And that's it. You should be all done. When you restart the tablet, it should go straight away to the desktop as you already have a user account. You could log in on your own Google account now. So I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, just press like. You could subscribe if you want to see more videos like that. And I see you next time. Once again, thank you.